Hello everybody and welcome back to NHL 18's GM mode with the New York Rangers. Now in the last GM mode, uh, or the last episode, it's it's been a while. Uh, the reason is because I've had a lot of things to do, I've been out of town. Not only that, but um, fortunately my account got banned in another game, and I've been really, really busy trying to grind up a new account with the help uh, of a lot of my friends and my dear husband, who... Uh, just he's the best so he's a little pissed but he's the best he's there by my side so that's why I haven't been around um, and <clears throat> basically giving you some some content I'm gonna try to give you a little bit of content with NHL but um, mainly it's gonna be um, just the regular Elder Scrolls for for a while until I can get um, to a desirable CP that way I can start doing uh, other things among uh, Elder Scrolls and other games. Now here's the lineup that we got. Um, <clears throat> we picked up Ryan Johansson. If oh my gosh, it won't. For some reason, this game sometimes. Anyway, this guy has one year is 6.195. Like he is going to want a big boy contract, and we're gonna probably give it to him. Um, now the reason is um, you're like. Why not just get Mika Savanaja? Like, his contract's way better. Like, he's a year younger. But guess what? Like, if it doesn't work out for us, I could potentially trade Ryan Johansson off. Get another second-line center who's really, really better than, um, you know, what we have right now. Um, basically, because I would be moving Savanaja up. And then Vuknev is going to move up. Now, I don't mind Vuknev. Vuknev... Butchnevich, whatever the fuck his name is. I don't mind him moving up, but, um, you know, we could potentially, what we could do is we could move him up and then get a better right winger because right now, Jimmy Vesey, he really doesn't turn out great. Um, he's 25 years old. He's low top six, so I highly doubt it. Like, our right wing department is not necessarily the best, so we could do that. Our defense, here we go. Uh, Brady Skagey, he is 24 years old. Uh, I believe his contract is three years at 4.8. And um, so we have the the top two for the future. So he's going to be there for a while. We have Ryan McDonough. He has one year left of 4.7, which is a really, really nice contract. But, like, I have a feeling that he's probably going to want six. So hopefully, you know. Um, not only that, but we have Josh Manson, one year 4.5. He might actually want, like, anywhere 5.5, uh, 5.6. Uh, we have Mark Stahl, three years of 5.7. I really don't like that contract, but we really don't have a choice. Like, we don't have that much choices over here. So, we have Henrik Lundqvist, um, three years of 8.5. And then we have Calvin Picard, uh, two years... <clears throat> at what point seven five uh what I might do is if we if we actually like definitely like screw up and we're not in the playoffs, guess what that we get a new goaltender I'm going to send Henrik to a team that will potentially give him the cup um or that has a good chance to give him the cup like if I'm gonna trade him to somebody it's gonna be to a team that has potential to get there. It's in a playoff spot, and we're going to look at it. But, I mean, we, we're not going to do that right now. The AHL lines. Uh, we have Sam Steele up here. He's 20 years old, top six. Um, I'm hoping, like, he grows to, like, three more points this year and then, like, three or four more points the next year. Um, if, if he can get to, like, a 78, 79, he actually may end up going into the third and fourth line next year. But uh, as far as now, like, I want him to grow. That's why he's getting top line minutes in the AHL. Ty Ratty, he's top nine, 76 overall. Like, I really can't put him anywhere else. Um, I have no other person to put in that right wing. So, like, we're really, really bad at right wing right now. So, that's something that we have to work on. Ryan Gropp, like, this guy is going to be top nine potential. Hopefully, he grows to, like, 74, 75 this year. And then, you know, more. Um, Alexander Ovechkin. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Um, but, um, apparently this is, <laughs> um, 
Let me see. This is... I don't know. Ovi's cousin? <laughs> Who knows? But uh, anyways, like, this guy was... We drafted him uh, sixth round overall. Uh, <laughs> it was crazy. Like, low elite in the sixth round. So hopefully this guy, like, says, Hey, I'm going to show promise. So... Like, I actually, I almost want to put him right there, but, um, we'll leave him right there <clears throat> for the time being. All right, so let's, let us go. <clears throat> We're going to go straight to the trade deadline, or actually to right here, because like, I want to make sure that I, I want to get some players signed. And if we're not doing well, then, you know, I know exactly who we need to get rid of. Not only that, but, like, if they don't want to sign, I can, I have time to basically say, hey, we're training you at the trade deadline, so. Started the season off at 5-1. Watch us screw it up. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm eating some crackers because I'm really hungry right now. See, so yeah, I told you it was screwed up. Here comes the downfall. I see it now. Six, five, and one. Like we started five and one, and then we're like, oh, we're not gonna win any more games. Like for now, so. <laughs> I love this team. Alright, so six weeks in the OHL. Hmm. Seven to one. What the hell? If we keep going this way, there's no way we're making the playoffs. Which makes it even better for me to, like, not sign Ryan Johansson. And then just get a King's Ransom for him. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna hold Ryan Johansson hostage. He's gonna be like, I don't want a hostage. <laughs> Let me out. Um, we really don't need that. Like, it's not really necessary. We're not in the best. <laughs> like, I'm not going to make trades that are going to impact the team to the point where it's going to cost us our future. I'm not doing that. Um, that's just bad terminology. In other news, um, so, <laughs> I'm so glad that David Poyle is a genius. The GM of the Nashville Predators is an absolute genius. Like, I often ask, like, why he did some of the stuff he did. Um, like, the Matt Duchesne, Kyle Torres trade, um, that happened a couple of weeks ago. Um, I was wondering, like, why didn't we get Duchesne? Like, Duchesne wanted to be here. He could contribute to the fast pace that that we play, the style of game uh, we play. But um, I was like, you know what? Kyle Turris, he's not that bad either. So I was like, eh, you know, I, I think we could have gotten, um, we could have gotten um, Matt Duchesne. But now I understand, like, I obviously... David Poyle talked to Kyle Turris and asked, like, if they wanted to to be here. Because, obviously, that trade would have never happened had Kyle Turris said, no, I'm not going to sign a contract extension. So, so I mean, it's that, obviously, that that's out of the question. But um, whenever I asked myself, like, why he did that like that, um, <clears throat> I knew Sam Gerard was going to go. Like, obviously, 
it was gonna happen, folks. Like, I love the kid. He has a really bright future ahead of him. But the defenseman depth that we have is unbelievable compared to the rest of the NHL. I mean, that's why Seth Jones went to Columbus for Ryan Johansson. Like, it made sense because Seth Jones was never going to get the top two pairing that he really deserved. Um, he deserves to be in the top two pair. Like, he's a really good defenseman to for that potential to be wasted, basically. So, um, <clears throat> you know, it made sense. Ryan Johansson didn't want to be there. Um, we needed a number one center. And it happened, you know? It happened. Um, and then, you know, the whole number two center came into place because Fisher retired. And I still think that um, it would have happened to had Fisher not retired because um, we just wouldn't have gotten Bonino, basically. That's that's just what it is. Um or if we got Bonino, like, maybe somebody was going to be traded out. Uh, but I highly doubt that Bonino wanted to come here for the fact that, hey, you know, we're going to um, we're gonna put you in the fourth line. So, and we're not going to put Mike Fisher on the fourth line as a center. Um, it wasn't going to happen. So, basically... Like I said, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, you know, I'm so glad that we got Kyle Turris, because that second line has been deadly. Like, legit deadly. <laughs> um, The second line with Fiala and Craig Smith and Turris. You can tell that Turris is making the other two in the line better. And not only that, but those two in the line are making Kyle Turris better. Um, not that I'm saying that he couldn't have had that in um, in in um, in Ottawa, but I just think Ottawa doesn't play the kind of game that Kyle Turris wants to play. So obviously, um, it wasn't gonna happen. So, there you go. Alright, let's see what is going on and who wants to stay. So, Ryan O'Hanson wants a contract, a contract extension. Josh Manson says, no, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Um, let's see who else. Um, Camper, Camp, Campfer, um, he says no. Alright, so everybody else wants to stay, but Camper. Uh, so we have we have some cap space um, available. Let's see what Ryan Johansson um, actually. Let's see what this guy wants. <clears throat> Sam Steele. What? Well then. Three years is six mil. Like, we'll put 6.125. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to, like, basically go a couple of days, guys. Because I want to make sure that we have the cap. Um, I don't think Ryan McDonough is going to come back to this team. To tell you the truth. But, um... And I might try... Um... Sam Steele, whoo, he's 80 overall. Like, I almost want to bring him up now. Holy balls. He's he's like, yeah, motherfuckers, I'm here to stay. Um, I, he definitely will, with Ryan, jo if Ryan Johansson signs, I might be tempted to, trade away um put uh put somebody where you know maybe put this guy's a lefty so he could potentially fit into that right wing spot and then Sam Steele right here and then Raquel um 
and then we'll get a center in the in free agency. Um, so like I could slide in Sam Steele right there if I wanted to, and then put Vuch Vuchnovich right there. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen. Um, I hate I hate this bug. Let's see his passing. How's his passing? Eighty-five. His lap shot. So like he has good good skills. Uh, he has eighty-nine speed. So he's a really fast skater. He has a lot of balance. He can accelerate. His good discipline. He's just not that physical, but like. All right. So he. <clears throat> So this is happening, folks, right now. I think you're going, buddy. Yep, I'm bringing Sam Steele up. Um, now, with Sam Steele coming up, that means that um, somebody's going to have to leave. So Jimmy Vesey is gonna go. Um, he's gonna go. <clears throat> I want to advance another day. Uh, okay, so Ryan Johansson accepted our contract. That's good news. Uh, let's keep going with contracts. Okay. Uh, Manson doesn't want to be here. Uh, Vessi wants to be here, but I'm... Oh, how quickly the tides turn. Uh, Clendenning. Offer Clendenning an extension. Nah. Okay, so McDonald doesn't want a big contract. Like 5.5 is fine. So I'm okay. Like five. If he if he takes that 5.5, I'm okay with keeping him around. Um. go okay so okay awesome so all these guys sign which means that in the trade deadline we could actually make some moves um i definitely want to get rid of jimmy vesey uh we don't, really don't need him um actually i could do i could do that right now because i really don't need to to get him to be upset um he has been replaced by sam Steele, unfortunately um one thing we are going to do real quick is this guy he is going to become a right winger for us it just makes a lot of sense right now um due to the fact that we just need him to be a right winger for us uh, unfortunately 
And there you go. <clears throat> uh, yeah, playmaker sniper. There you go. So he's going to be basically um, to the point where we're gonna give him some shots and we're gonna pass him some stuff. So Sam Steele, welcome to the NHL. Um, thanks, buddy, for being here. I didn't think the kid was gonna grow that fast actually like I was like oh, okay so over over the year I could see him hitting um, like I don't know just you know some some weird number um, <clears throat> all right so who do we want to send it would be funny if like let's see Nashville doesn't want him I don't blame him ah! It's like Jimmy Vesey, you fucked us. So uh, I wonder if Buffalo still wants him. Let's see. Buffalo does want him. I was like, we gave a a pick for you, a fourth round pick for you. Um, so I'm gonna actually try to send him to Buffalo. Uh, why not? Like, <laughs> it'll be funny as hell. Uh, let's see. So Tyler Ennis, he has one year at four point six. Uh, Kyle Chipcher, actually, that's not bad. One year at 1.4. Um, Matt Molson. Emerson Edom. I mean, there's some actually good players in here. Oh, wow, Colin Wilson went to Buffalo. Um, I would love to take this guy, but really, we don't have... We can't put him in our second line. So, Coyle Lind. Um, we could use some right-wingers, guys. So, this guy is actually not that bad. Cole Lind. He was, drafted, he was drafted second round, 37th overall. So, like, early in the, the second round. He's 20 years old. He... Let's see. I mean, his slap shot is pretty good. Uh, his wrist shot is okay. I... His slap shot actually, like he, I'm guessing he takes more slap shots. Um, his skating is okay. He doesn't have good balance though, but his speed, he's a little bit of a speedster. So I don't know, like we have quicker guys um, in the team. This guy is like a powerhouse, you know. He would be great for, in our team, but... Um, okay, so Buffalo is, is a possibility. Uh, Colorado is another possibility. I kind of want to see what's going on over here. Nah, nothing good. I kind of want to get a prospect. Like, if we can get a prospect, that would be great. Um, what is this guy? Alright, so there's no really good prospects here. Um, is there... Wow, Edmonton's like, fuck you. <laughs> uh, so let's see. No prospects there. Unfortunately, Matthew Strom doesn't turn out to be good. Um, huh. This guy is like... Huh. He's 26 years old. That's the only problem. Like, he's a restricted RFA agent. Man, I wish that, like, uh, we could have gotten that guy sooner. Um, I wish there was a button in, like, the trade things that told us, like, gave us a list of everybody who's RFA. And who's not necessarily playing. <laughs> because... I feel that I could potentially before before December, you know, we could potentially get somebody. Okay, so Dylan Harkins, let's see, he was third round, 71 overall. So he 54 overall. Uh, I don't know. Okay, Montreal. Uh, let's see, this guy Noah Jolson. So this guy has one year left. You know what? This guy actually might be good for our team. He's a minor top six defenseman right now, so we could put him in the top in the top two and get him some minutes in the AHL. 
That's not a bad idea. He has a good he has a good slap shot and he has a good wrist shot. But they're just not accurate, so like And he has a lot of speed for a twenty one year old for the rest of the stats. The only problem is that it says here he's a two way defender, but eh. Alright, so that's that's a big possibility. Alright, so Jolson from Montreal. Alright, so New York Islanders. Anders Lee. One year at three point seven. He's gonna want more money. Look at that. This guy is a force to be reckoned with. Like, I would actually want this guy over Cray or Colin uh, Colin Wilson. Look at his categories. He's very physical. So he could be, like, on the penalty kill. The only thing is this plan is okay. But he has good puck control. He has good passing. Like, this guy just screams penalty kill for us, so. Adam Ruzika. This guy is already really, really fast. For So he's faster than that other guy we looked at. He's in the junior, so he's 19, so he'll probably be like 68. 69, maybe 70 by the time he gets out. Actually, that's not a bad choice to... Let's see, like, let's see what we can get. Alright. Alright, there you go. Jimmy Vesey, he's gone. He's gone. Whoop whoop. Bye bye. Alright, so advanced day. Um kinda wanna go back to Montreal and see what that guy like what does Montreal want for that kid. Let's see. See, I don't know. I don't want to do that because that could potentially be bad. So we're just going to stay with the program that we're here right now. And we're going to go to April. So there we go. <clears throat> okay, round six and Matt Cullen for a fifth round pick. Nope. Player morale. Okay, so it's probably like, uh, thanks for the opportunity. Okay, I guess he does not like, um, <clears throat> okay, Matt Stajan in a six for fourth. Nah, nope. Sam Steele's like, yeah, let me let me in the AHL. I'm in the NHL. Um, so I like the fact that, that kid is here. Um, actually, I kind of want to see if he has scored already. Let's see his stats. Wait a second. Are we still in third? Ooh. So we need to win. We need to start winning player stats. There you go. Uh, centers. Look at this. Three goals already. Like, he is tearing it up. 
three goals already. Bright future for that kid. Ah, uh, shit. Let's see. <clears throat> so Washington, Pittsburgh, um, Philadelphia, and the Islanders. Go to player morale. Let's see. Uh, so um, he's like, ah, oh, whatever. Thankfully, the next spot is like. Alright, uh, so. Like, we need to win games, though. But, like, against people like. Um, we have the Penguins, Philly, and New York as well, like, coming up, so. Those are the games, like, those are key games that we need to win. We really need to win, like, all these games, like. There you go. Like, these two games right here coming up, we definitely need to win. Like, all, actually, all these, all these three games. There you go. Like, good win against, um. We really need to win against Philly. Oh, shoot, I lost that. Okay, that's fine. I'll take that. Um, let's see where we're at. We should be in the playoffs. Like, I just don't see how we're not in the playoffs. Um, we're in the last spot. Oh, my God. That's unbelievable. Uh, Eddie's scouting assignment. Uh, I think... Did I go to the U.S.? I don't think I went to the U.S. Who do we get? Like Washington, probably. Yeah. Okay. So we got Braden Holby versus Henrik Lundqvist, Ovechkin versus uh, Ryan Johansson, and Mika Savanajad. Um. Come on, boys. So we're 2-2 right now. We really need to win this game. Oh, Jesus. And the bad part is that I really do think that uh, our AHL team actually freaking... All right, so <laughs> they made the playoffs. All right, so we really... There you go. There you go. There you go. Good shit. We really needed to win that game. Push it to game seven. Um, which is good because, like, Washington was top, you know. So there you go. Like, the New York Rangers are happy. 1-1. One, one. Oh, my gosh. Resume simulation. Come on, overtime. This is, like, where it gets really... Oh, no. Kill the power. Come on. Oh, kill. Kill. Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to, like, I'm just going to hit it. I'm just going to hit it. And we won, boy. So, who is leading this team in this playoff? Please tell me it's Ryan Johansson. No, look at that. Oh, seven assists. Holy shit. That's sick. Sick, sick. Oh my goodness. Brady Skagey. Seven points, seven games, seven assists. He probably has like an assist per game. Holy freaking crap. Uh, let's simulate day. Let's see who we get. So we go against Sidney Crosby and the Hot Penguins. 
Come on, boys. I don't think we're gonna get past this round, folks. Um, unless, like, a miracle happens. Um, oh, we're 2-1 up and again, and then we're gonna lose this game right here. Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, shit. I was like, let's go. Let's upset these penguins. Okay, let's win at home. Of course, we don't win at home. We're like, no, we're going to game seven, so, like, make you fret. Shit. <laughs> uh, come on, sim game. Sure. Yeah. Whoo! Who are the like? Who the heck scored? Matt Murray. Yeah, guys. Matt Murray. Sometimes he's a beast to be reckoned with. Like the the times that he's on, he's on. Um. So let's go to the AHL team. So they're one two right now versus the Rochester Americans. Um. So good, good, good playoff. Like um, I'm actually very happy with the playoff. It's actually not that bad. Let's see. There we go. There we go. I'm just gonna go here, it don't matter. Ooh, we got the fourteenth round pick. Uh, so look at Florida, they got the first and fourth. Um, and Detroit, the second and the sixth. What the heck? Colorado, the fifth and the eighth? What? Alright, so we have two picks, uh, this year. View retired players. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the king has not retired. Start draft, um... All right, let's see who gets picked. Oh, look at that. Addison, franchise dude. Sim to user pick. Uh, Mika Koivu for Rusika. Hell no. To the no, no, no. Okay, let's see what we got. So we have Hmm This guy is is a high lead. Uh this guy's a high top 6. We're going to take this guy. Ooh, perfect. Because basically, what I'm going to do is... We have another pick, obviously. Actually, let's see. Let's see something. I just caught something here. High Elite. And this guy's a French starter. He's a high French starter. I wonder. We could use another goalie, guys. Hmm. gonna see if they'll trade me their pick I'm 
Let's see if I can get two thirds out of them. One third. There you go. Uh, Cause I, I really want to pick somebody right here. This guy, Niskala. Nope. Fourth for. Actually, I'm okay with that. Mark Giordano, Vashensky, and Rusika. Nah, nah. Nope, nope. We're not trading our future. Oh, this guy's still here. Um, look at this. This guy's an exact elite. I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully, the other guy's still there. Low top six, that's fine. I trust my scouts. Lord, they want this Rusika kid. They're like, I want this guy. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth, right here. All right, let's go. Okay, a main roster, aspiring. So Manson does not want an extension. I'm gonna get rid of him.
Okay, there we go. Let's see how this all works right here. have 15 mil in cap space which is good because we need like another defenseman so come on bud what's going on uh, one a year one mil that's fine uh, let's see Okay. So we have we're full on goalies. That's interesting. Uh let's see what we got. Ooh, he's right. Um, let's see. So we got Lundquist right here. We have Picard. So we have Lundquist, let's see, so we have Lundquist, Picard, um, we have Showmockers who's going to start, uh, the Oilers want Helberg, we can get Helberg for like Do we get a third out of it? Fourth. Uh, so a fifth for Helberg. Before we go, let's actually look at stuff. So, uh, so we got one, two, three, four. So we have our four lines. Um, one, tech one, two, because uh, Miller is on the left wing. Uh, three and four. So we got our left wingers. One, two, three. So we need. We need a top right winger. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Mark Stahl probably needs to go. Ugh. So we need two defensemen and a top right winger. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to see if I can get rid of Mark Stahl. Because that, that would definitely give me a little bit of cushion to get people that I need to to get Colorado wants Mark Stahl what the fuck okay sure
Okay, so we really don't need top two, um, but we need top four. So Jake Gardner, perfect person um, to, to get in that. Richard Panic. Holden, there you go. Let's see how we do, folks. Spur John for nah. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, Cromwell X accepted. Gardner accepted. And I think that's it, right? Uh, so he's still at 10 mil. Um, we could, I mean, this guy is not getting younger, two years is seven mil. It's like when you can't get there. Woo! I think we're done. <laughs> we're done until the next season. So, there you go, folks. I mean, that was a great signing. Um, it, just the fact that Oliver Ekman Larson decided to... We get him a two-year, seven-mil contract because, like, I want to be able to see how... It works. So that open. Ooh, ooh, ooh! This is actually a very, very decent trade. Oh, he's seventy-eight. Oh man, what did Columbus do to you? Anyway, so thanks again for watching. Make sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel for other videos that are coming up. Plus, make sure to look at the other playlists that we have in the channel um, for other GM modes and other hockey stuff. And if you really decide to get into the world of MMO, we do have some Elder Scroll videos you can watch and some builds you can actually go see if you decide to get into that road. Thanks, guys, and have a good night.